Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Janelle Samora and this is Scent Talk from my closet, the fragrance closet. On this channel, we go over all things fragrance. We cover niche perfume houses. We go into layering combos. We talk about dupes and clones of original fragrances, highlight indie brands, all things fragrance. If that is something you're interested in, go ahead and continue watching. Consider hitting that subscription button and the bell so you'll be notified to new videos. So if it is your first time on the channel, I do like to focus on one perfume house or topic at a time. We have been highlighting the gourmand scents here from Coco Pink. So this is the finale. This is the last video of this house, but this is the not this is the not the last time you will hear <laughs> from Coco Pink. Ah, it's so late and I'm so tired, but I'm so excited to reveal these to you guys. I do have a couple of honorable mentions, of course. If you've been on the channel any amount of time, you know how hard it is for me to choose to rate. So top five is just tough. I'm going to be such a cheater in this video. I have a couple of honorable mentions and then I have a tie for first place. So <laughs> it's like top five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> okay, let's get right into it. Honorable mentions. Coming in at uh, my first honorable mention is angel food cake you guys this is a limited release i did purchase this during the pink list uh black friday sale they had it open for a few hours it wasn't even you know like a week or so and they made their entire catalog available um or not all of it but it, it was the pink list you could order different scents i got this one and i also got va va vanilla which was really surprising uh to me actually very enjoyable angel food cake here i am very happy that i did go full throttle and order a one ounce bottle because it turned out to be so so enjoyable i am going to want to pair this with a few things it is so strong that you could wear it on its own of course and um, it's gonna go the distance. You only need a couple of sprays. So, I mean, goodness. Um, freshly baked angel food cake. I didn't get a very bready feel from it. I got a very decadent feel um, from the angel food cake. I mean, straight out of the gate, it really reminded me of the um, just very rich feel of Jusette's Accident a la Vanille. And also, if you've smelled this uh, by Sol Janeiro, the Sol Janeiro 71, the number 71. Very, very um, thick, just delectable opening. Um, and then kind of switched up a little bit, but it was so good. I mean, I do have a full review if you guys want to check that out. So also, you can put any kind of fruit you want on top of that and it's going to jive so, so well. Okay, next runner up we have holiday lights i kicked off the channel or i kicked off coco pink sorry week with holiday lights let me tell you it's got some pomegranate sorbet delicious vanilla custard uh and sugared plums and i just really really am interested in ordering the dry oil in holiday lights i might get a 10 ml but i i really I don't feel like I want to have holiday lights as a fragrance. I want to have it as a body butter, possibly the cocoa mango butter, and then also the dry oil spray. I just feel like it's gonna go, I wore it with Into the Night and Coco Chanel. <laughs> I wore a dupe by Oil Perfumery, but it was so, so enjoyable. So I definitely wanna have it to play, continue to experiment with it and um, have that in the collection. But it's an honorable mention because, uh, like I said, I don't feel like I'm going to place an order for a full bottle of, you know, I'm going to full size this. So it's an honorable mention because it was very enjoyable. Okay, now here we are at number five. Coming in at number five, we have Pink Sugar Noel. Oh, bad. This one really surprised me. I wasn't expecting it to be the actual Aqualina Pink Sugar scent, and yes, it is. It just has their Noel, which is Coco Pink's Vanilla Be Noel, their own formula. Um, I highly recommend for each of these scents, um, if I smelled, if it gave me any type of 
if it inspired me, I went ahead and layered it with other things. So I highly encourage you guys to check out the individual reviews to these fragrances we're ranking today. Um, so I do want to order the dry oil spray for Pink Sugar Noel. Again, um, I don't feel like I need to order a full bottle, a full size, because I do have the original Aqualina Pink Sugar. Um, so, and I feel, and I have the, um, what is it? I have the marshmallow cake on Mondays. I have things that I can combine to, to get that pink sugar Noel feel. Um, how, and also, <laughs> not 100 though. So also, I have two of these. So I'm thinking, if I utilize both of my, uh, travel sprays, which is a total of five mLs, uh, then I'll be looking into upgrading, you know, getting a 10 ml or, or a one ounce. Um, so that was Pink Sugar Noel, just Vanilla Bean Noel with a splash of pink sugar. So, so enjoyable. I did try to make my own concoction and mix the original, uh, the original Aqualina with Vanilla Bean Noel, but it didn't pan out. So this is why also I would like to order the dry oil spray. The dry oil spray is only, I believe, $8 this size, two ounce for $8.65. Now those prices will be changing soon because inflation and all that mess and supply chain and all of that. Um, but it's still going to be a good price, I feel. Uh, it's only going to go up, up a few percentage. Um, so anyways, that's what I'm planning on for my number five. Pink Sugar Noel, I want to invest in the dry oil spray so that I can get that feel, you know, the, the wonderful cake that was brought to the table with pink sugar. <laughs> okay, number four, we have Apricot Eyelet. I did get the dry oil spray in Apricot Eyelet. It was so enjoyable. This has buttercream, marshmallow, and vanilla ice cream and oh i did try also their frosted eyelet but i much preferred the the little slight apricot nuance that the apricot eyelet had to it it was just enough to push it over the edge for me to not want to order both the frosted eyelet and the apricot eyelet i do i do want at least a, a 10 ml of the apricot eyelet i'm in between like do i get a one ounce or do i get a 10 ml what i combined this with was also just to die for so I just oh I love apricots they're they're being they are becoming one of my favorite favorite perfume notes one of my favorite um yeah when it comes to fruits so yeah definitely want to add to that and get uh, an EDP now coming in at number three we have vanilla bean noel I almost wrote this off I almost said no we don't need it it's redundant oh we're not going to need it to add to the collection and now I'm like okay I need the I need the body butter I didn't order the body butter I need the dry oil and I definitely need a one ounce of vanilla bean noel uh, I have found my Vanilla Bean Noel. I do not care for Bath & Body Works version of, of van Vanilla Bean Noel. So um, this happens to be the number one seller here at Coco Pink Vanilla Bean Noel. Where are you? Are you here? Yes. Oh, it was so enjoyable. This, this Vanilla Bean Noel, I wore it with a blueberry forward fragrance uh, called Grey Cat from Nui Kobo Designs and the projection of these two fragrances. So I just feel any time that I wore anything with the name Noel in the back of it here by Coco Pink, it was this formula that is added to it. And it was just like, I want that version, you know? So I just feel like um, definitely this, I can't believe I almost didn't wear test it on its own. And no, it is not redundant to have other, uh, fragrances by Coco Pink that say Noel at the end, not redundant to have this in the collection because you could do that with your own collection with the other fragrances. You could add your Vanilla Be Noel by Coco Pink to it. It also works out amazingly on its own for certain. This is so enjoyable. What does it have in it even? It has fresh vanilla bean, warm caramel cream, sugar and vanilla, tonka bean and white musk. And it's just a gem. It really truly is a gem and it doesn't smell like um, 
like any other scent in in the collection um you know anything else that we tried by coco pink so i'm like okay <laughs> sold i need i need that so that that comes in at number three gosh this is getting harder and harder as we come to number two and number ones i chose two number ones it was a tie coming in at number two marshmallow cake on mondays noel here we go again with like is this going to be redundant? I already have a couple of staples as far as marshmallows concerned in the collection. Do I need this? Really? I ordered the uh, Voluptuous Body Butter in Marshmallow Cake on Mondays. And I also got the sample. And then I got the sample of Marshmallow Cake on Mondays Noel. And I was just, it was a, such a toss up. Like, am I going to need a both? marshmallow cake on mondays and the marshmallow cake on mondays noel in the collection oh my gosh cake on mondays has sponge cake almond extract vanilla with a hint of cinnamon cream cheese and buttercream frosting and this does not smell exactly like vanilla bean noel this has that marshmallow added to it this has that sponge cake it just has a different aura altogether definitely not redundant and um, marsh the marshmallow here by Coco Pink is also just very different than, for example, your Kais Perfumes Delicia de Marshmallow or um, a couple other fragrances that are marshmallow, just really strong, heavy on them. I have an entire video dedicated to layering marshmallow that I stuck at the beginning of the channel if you're interested in checking that out because, I mean, I just love that note. It's so comforting to me i think marshmallow is one of the most comforting scents that you could find now what i love about marshmallow cake on mondays is um this this little baker's tone this little baker scent like a cinnamon type tone that it has in it without being piercing just wonderful cinnamon um you, you know not the red hot cinnamon type smell it's more of a resinous tone it's more of a you know like a like a, we're baking something it's so good <laughs> it's, it's very gourmand okay but not that red hot candies are not gourmand but i mean we're talking this is just it's not offensive at all Ooh, so good. It's not spicy. It's just wonderful. So between Marshmallow Cake on Mondays, Eau de Parfum, and Marshmallow Cake on Mondays, Noel, I'm going with the Marshmallow Cake on Mondays, Noel. The Marshmallow Cake on Mondays smelled so much more like a straight up marshmallow. And you could also sense the almond extract much, much stronger in the marshmallow cake on mondays now the noel brings to it just some added layer of decadence that i cannot explain so it's trying to you know not be re too redundant and of course it's going to be my first full size order so um yeah i'm not trying for the cart to be 300 dollars. like it what if i would have gotten everything i wanted it had been like three i tried it just just to mess around I think it was like $348, which is still really good for the amount of product that you're going to receive and and the um and the layerability of everything and the you know the diversity that you're going to add. I'm going to be I'm going to bring in a little bit at a time. Okay? I'm not going to go crazy. This year is all about being a little more sensible uh with the purchases and uh just really the collection's gotten pretty big, so we're trying to just uh, purchase what we love over here okay that's what I'm trying to do <laughs> okay very very hard though very hard when everything is so delicious so um had I not been you know trying to be completely not redundant yes I'd have gone for both marshmallow cake on Mondays Noel and marshmallow cake on Mondays I'd have gone for the pink sugar Noel full size I you know but I'm trying to, I'm giving you guys my order that, you know, my tapered back, cut it back type order here. <laughs> okay, so next we have coming in at number one. I do have two. It is a tie. I cannot just, I cannot choose 
both of these uh, were so, so enjoyable and they're going to continue to be so in the collection. We're going to utilize these. So uh, first number one here, Cotton Candy Dreams. This one had a little bit of everything. Vanilla. It had the triple dream of vanilla, which is Tahota and their uh, Speedy Three Stubble Vani by, uh, by the House of Gerland, but their version. The version here by Coco Pink is just uh, less resinous. There's not, it's not as dark as I would have imagined um, it to be. My oil perfumery version was a little darker, so, um, but, which is why it doesn't darken Cotton Candy Dreams up. This is Raspberry Cotton Candy Frosting with the Triple Vanilla Dreams that I just explained, and this is a beautiful raspberry base. I can already think of 500 things to layer this with. Um, definitely want to feature it on a, on a layering video. I want to try them out first though and then come and give you guys my results. All these different layering combos I have in my head to go with this. Um, yeah, frost, it just had it all. It'll go, it'll go with so many things. Um, the vanilla tones that you got going on in here, they don't, they don't overtake the raspberry so this this just holds on to um to its sweet candy like feel um but without feeling um like body splash spray type smell which is wonderful but it doesn't know it, it's strong it's a strong raspberry it was beautiful i love cotton candy dreams this one this one it had to be uh one of the number ones so i do have the coco mango butter cotton candy dreams i want the dry oil here and i want a full size for certain i mean for certain <laughs> okay last but definitely not least, our la our, our number one <laughs> uh, top five turned out to be top eight, I think. Anyways, number one, you guys, black cherry upside down cake. I couldn't decide between Cotton Candy Dreams and the black cherry upside down cake. The smell to both of these were to die for. This one Oh, just so wonderful, but slightly different. I mean, very different. It's cherry. This is not raspberry. This is cherry. And um, and I happen to just love both. This has a very strong, strong cherry presence. I mean, yes. And then it has this dry down of just this creamy vanilla cherry. Cherry vanilla. Um, very extremely enjoyable. I, this is white pound cake. Marshmallow fluff frosting and juicy wild black cherries that is all we got going on here and it's so good i don't get a bready a bready cake i just get a very decadent feel more you know more cherry vanilla i feel um not just not like your your typical cherry almonds that you can find in some fragrances um there's a tiny tiny little maybe like a an almond extract but it's it's just very fleeting at the beginning um maybe that's just what the white pound cake comes off as but oh man i just i truly enjoyed black cherry upside down cake and cotton candy dreams just very equally that was very hard <laughs> that was very hard for me but you know if if you're looking at placing your very first order with coco pink you could not let's say you could only get a couple i highly recommend these that i've gone over today to, to at least to start with i mean so you could get a good feel for oh how does their marshmallow smell how does their cake tone smell how does their vanilla you know smell their Tohoda was also very, very enjoyable, but I'm I'm our, I'm set in the Tohoda department, uh, so that's why I didn't make the list for me. But if you'll check out that review when I wore Tohoda here by, I compared it against the original uh, here by Coco Pink, you'll see that that one was actually really good as well. So it all depends on what you're in the market for as far as um, scents are concerned. Um, you know, you don't have a perfect this or a perfect that and you want to check it out from this house oh man <laughs> so good all the different products they have to offer the scents the enjoyability the longevity amazing a beautiful house i just oh so happy with it um yeah 
really really happy most of these will make my top 10 gourmand dish top 10 ish gourmand uh video that i'm going to prepare for you guys moving on moving on but this is not the last you're gonna see of coco pink i always say that we're moving on to kyali we're having a kyali week you know i brought up kyali scents here and there throughout the past year on the channel and i just mainly bring up you know vanilla 28 oh this i reference kyali scents a whole lot but have i ever deep dived into the house and really gotten to know their scents um you know and tried different ones that i haven't tried before no so um i went ahead and threw this into a poll you guys voted for kayali kayali and commodity were neck and neck for a long time the day before i needed to choose a scent for the next day kayali was in the lead so this is what we went with <laughs> from the poll um i love when you guys choose what we're gonna focus on because i i know there's interest for it i'm you know i'm providing a little bit of a service <laughs> i always love to do that for you guys so thank you so much for tuning in this entire week um everything very delicious i guess five star menu we have going on here <laughs> delicious edible gourmand smelling fragrances here by the house of coco pink thank you one more time to subscriber shimmer lux for just drilling it in there have you tried this from coco pink have you tried that i really think that you would like this um i don't know how many times you mentioned oh if you like raspberry you will love cotton candy dreams and i'm like okay yes yes i get it i got it it's registering it do it registered when i wore it my goodness thank you thank you so so much um uh, i like it i like the two-way street you guys are giving me ideas and and uh, ex not exploring uh, exposing me to different houses and different scents that i probably never would have thought of or you know looked into before not going to say that coco pink was never on my radar before yes they were um but you know having those little comments about hey this is really good try it this that um i truly appreciate it so thank you guys once again for joining me on this journey scent talk from my closet we have completed yet another house <laughs> so moving along into kyali week you guys we're gonna have spoiler alert we're gonna have some surprises we really really are with this house some a couple of them are just like what <laughs> where did that come from um super excited to get into the new house with you guys and um yeah we'll see you you guys have a blessed rest of your day your night or your evening and you stay safe